United Nations estimates half a million women in the developing world die each year as a result of pregnancy, many due to lack of proper medical care. In an attempt to reduce that number, some countries like Ecuador offer free care for pregnant women. But many women feel more comfortable with their less modern in-home practices when giving birth. As UNTV reports, one culturally sensitive program is trying to change that. Alba Peralta is on a campaign to encourage rural women to give birth in a safe medical environment. She's a member of the Users Committees, a network of health promoters supported by the UN Population Fund to promote safe motherhood. It's my obligation to tell women they should go to a health center because not only are their lives in danger, but their babies as well. But entrenched in a tradition that considers giving birth a private and intimate ritual, indigenous women often find Western medicine not only unfamiliar, but also frightening. Because I know that sometimes, when women cannot give birth the normal way, doctors open you up. When women arrive in hospitals, they have to go through a practice that is completely different from their culture. They are in an unfamiliar environment and in a language they don't understand. And that's why they resist going to the hospital. I asked a young mother, why don't you go to the hospital? And she said, because we are violated. If they open your legs and they put their hands inside you without asking, what do you make of that? For an indigenous woman, this is tremendously offensive. Otavalo, an ancient city where half of its 10,000 residents are indigenous, recently installed a vertical birth room in its hospital. It's the first public health institution in the country to embrace a traditional birth method and offer delivery choices for women. What's being done is the recognition of the Declaration on the Rights of the Indigenous Peoples, which says that they have the rights to be taken care of according to their culture and worldview. For Alba and her team, the challenge now is to get the information out to women, making sure that they exercise their rights to obtain free, safe and culturally sensitive reproductive health services. With UN Television, this report was prepared by Patricia Chan for the CNN World Report. In Argentina, indigenous women are using tradition to their advantage. As ILO TV reports, they have found a way to turn an ancient technique into a modern success. It is one of the most astoundingly beautiful places on earth. This is the high desert of northwestern Argentina, untouched by time and now reconnecting to an ancient tradition. For centuries in this windy, desolate place, the indigenous Kola people have raised llama as pack animals for food and for wool. In time-honored tradition, their fleece is sheared by hand before being spun into high-quality wool. I have been spinning wool ever since I was six years old. All my life, I have considered myself a spinner. I adore spinning, and I am a craftswoman, specializing in spinning thread. With help from an ILO vocational training program, Women from Bolivia, Costa Rica, and Argentina are turning this ancient tradition into a commercial success. In the Puna Cooperative, the women have learned how to better organize and distribute their wool and the articles made from it, setting up a network of markets in schools and shops around the region and even on the Internet. Eugenia is a clear example across the region of how it is possible to grow and to transform oneself with support, training and stimulation. The program has changed Eugenia's life. She became a leader of the cooperative and its first woman president. It changed my vision, from being only a craftswoman to becoming a community leader who thinks about and understands the needs of others. She now travels around Argentina showing how skills development training leads to professionalism, commercial know-how, higher productivity and better income. The threads of Eugenia's own life have been woven into a new fabric, stronger, more resilient, and aware that she has the power to change her life and inspire others. This report was prepared by ILO TV for the CNN World Report. As I am an Argentinian, I can tell you that indigenous people in my country are usually neglected by the mainstream society. That is why stories like these do make a difference. Next on World Report,
It's the world's largest bazaar. The Grand Bazaar in Tehran serves as a major hub for trade, but some say the market's influence on the city's economy has weakened. We'll explain after a short break.